Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks for coming by for another Road Warrior video blog. When I talk to people about the Road Warrior and they hear I do this from a car, they'll often ask, now, do you just talk about car stuff? Is it a car video blog? I'm like, no. It's about all sorts of weird stuff. A couple weeks ago, we talked ice cream. A couple weeks before that, we talked about me being sick. I mean, just again, whatever comes to the, to the, to the top of my head sometimes, even when I'm just going, oh, i got to do a Road Warrior this week, I hop in the car and I turn on the camera, it's like, I'm not sure what's coming out of my mouth right now, but something's coming out. But So it's not necessarily car stuff. But every now and again, car stuff creeps up. And, and the reason I said that, as I was setting up the Road Warrior today, you know, I've got the camera setting up, you know, attached to the dashboard, and I've got my little phone holder that's got the video monitor in it and things like that, my iPod monitor, and I've got all the little, well, the little nooks and crannies in the car. And I was looking down because I went to pick up my beverage. We're, we're rocking the rock star today. And I went to pick down my beverage, and I realized... In my little cup holder area nearby in the little center console, there's a little, what I call nook and cranny, behind behind it. And I don't know what you'd put in there. It's like a cup holder, I get it. A cup holder fits cups. Makes sense. It, the, where it sits underneath the sliding armrest, I, I don't know what you would put in there. Right now it's got my tire gauge in it. Because I always keep a tire For some reason, once I started going with cars with tire monitors, my tires got wonky, I guess because then you notice it more, and when they're off a couple of pounds or whatever from one another, it flags the tire monitor. So I've always keep a, a tire pressure gauge always handy. So boom, right there, tire pressure gauge. Okay. But it's like, I don't normally keep it there. I normally keep it in the dashboard cubby because it's quick and easy and it's handy. But because I've got the microphone case there, I'm like, I, I, and again, I don't look at this and I'm like, what is down there? What would you put? I guess you could put a cell phone down there. But let's be honest. Who really puts their cell phone down where they can't see it? I mean, I've got a nice little CD mount thing here that slides into my CD player in the car that mounts my cell phone. So if I see somebody call, I can just hit the button and answer it, and it plays through the car radio. I've also got my, my satellite radio that sits in that same little cubby holder, so boom, I can see it all right there. It, it's up, it's good, and I don't have to look down, but there's that one little cubby right down there. I'm like, what is that for? And it, it's, it's weird. I mean... I know when they're building cars, they don't think that. Above my glove box, there's a little slotted area in between where the, the what do you call it, the, the airbag and the dashboard, and, and part where the, where the airbag is part of the dashboard, and they got a little slot there, and, and there's the glove box. Now, I don't know why it doesn't go all the way flush, but in that little spot, I've got a pack of Kleenex. I keep Kleenex in the car because I'm always blowing my nose, so it's like, okay. And when my wife's driving with me, she'll lay her cell phone in there. Good little place for her cell phone to go when we're driving down the road. But I often wonder, who came up with these little ideas for these little cubbies and crooks? And I got a cup holder in the door, but only certain size cups fit in there because of the way it's contoured. It's, it's all kind of weird to me. But again, every now and again, I just look down and it's like, oh, I, I wish they'd almost put like a little note on it saying when I bought the car, and this little cubby is perfect for, and it would tell me all those things it's perfect for. So at least, oh, I never thought of that. Oh, I can put that down there. I'm sure, I'm sure some designer decided it was going to be perfect for something. I, I just don't know what that something is. I know. The strange things I worry about. Next week, back with another Road Warrior video blog. Never have to worry about that. Find us on Facebook. Yep. My The Kevin Mason page is where I post them. And again, I'm begging. Okay, I'm not going to beg, but I'm begging you. Please like the page. I got like eight whole likes now. I'm pretty excited. And what's sad is, is everybody who likes the page, I'm actually already a friend with on Facebook. So, you know, they're already seeing it. Got them up on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Again, if you found us on Facebook or YouTube, you already know that. You already know how to find us. So if you want to watch there, you can always just search Kevin Mason, Road Warrior Video, Video Blog, whatever it is, and you'll find them. Easiest way, though, to find the Road Warrior videos, KevinMason.us. These aren't good enough for KevinMason.com. Yeah, that's that's my personal page. I guess, I mean, I could put them up there, but a lot of places you can watch the Road Warrior. I don't care where they are. Just love for you to come back again next week. I promise we won't be talking cars next week. Okay, I don't promise, because goodness knows what we're going to talk about next week. We'll see you, though. Thanks for stopping by.